find the relative extrema of arctan x minus the arctan of x minus 5. Let's go ahead and do it, and we'll use the first derivative test. So we'll start by first finding the critical numbers. So we'll take the derivative, and we'll set it equal to 0. So the derivative of arctan is 1 over 1 plus x squared minus, and then here, when you take the derivative, it's 1 plus x minus 5 squared times the derivative of the inside piece, which is simply 1. And we set this equal to 0. Now we'll add this to the other side. So 1 over 1 plus x squared. And that's equal to 1 over 1 plus x minus 5 squared. Once we get here, we can use what's called cross multiplication. Always fun to use. So we get 1 plus x minus 5 squared equals 1 plus x squared. Right? Just simply cross multiplying. The left hand side is 1 plus to multiply this out, you square the first term. You multiply these guys and double them. So negative 5x, so negative 10x. And then you square the last term, so plus 25. And over here we end up with 1 plus x squared. This cancels by subtracting 1. You can subtract x squared. Um, maybe add the 10x, or well, I'll do it in two steps. Negative, 20, negative 10x plus 25 is 0. Add the 10x. Divide by 10. So this is um, 5 halves, which is 2.5. So that's our critical number. I'll call it a CN. Now what we'll do is use the first derivative test. So we will plot our critical number on a number line. So here's our number line. And we're going to pick test points, and we're going to plug them into the first derivative. If the first derivative is positive, the function is increasing. If it's negative, the function is decreasing. So let's start by picking a nice number smaller than 2.5. How about 0? So f prime of 0. Let's see, that's 1 over 1 plus 0. Right, 0 squared is 0. Minus 1 over 1 plus, let's see, 0 minus 5 is minus 5. And that's being squared. So this is, this is 1 right here. All of this is just 1. Minus, and then this is 1 over 1 plus negative 5 squared is 25. So this is 1 minus 1 over 26, which is positive. Now, if you can't tell it's positive, think of it this way. It's 1, and you're subtracting a number smaller than 1, so it's certainly positive. Um, if you want to keep going, we can. You can write 1 is 26 over 26. And then, so 26 minus 1 is 25. The reason you write the 1 that way is so you, you have the same denominator, so you can actually, actually subtract, right? 26 minus 1 is 25. This is positive, so it's increasing. Now we'll do the same thing, except we'll plug in, how about 5? So f prime of 5, this is 1 over 1 plus, let's see, 5 squared, right? x is 5, so 5 squared minus 1 over 1 plus, here's the reason I picked 5, right? 5 minus 5 is 0. And this is 1 over 26, right? 25 plus 1 is 26, minus 1. This is 1 over 26, minus 26 over 26. And this is negative 25 over 26, which is less than 0, so it's decreasing. So it's increasing, 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 decreasing. We have a maximum at 2.5 by the first derivative test. We have a max at 2.5, so uh, max at x equals 2.5. To find the actual maximum, we have to go back to the OG function. So go back to the OG function. So take the 2.5 and plug it back into the OG func. Let me rewrite this, and then we'll plug it in. So it's really important to remember that once you find out where your max is, you got to go back to the OG func and, and plug it back in. OG, OG original function. So f of 2.5, plugging it back in. This is the arctan of 2.5 minus the arctan of 2.5 minus 5. So this is arctan of 2.5. Minus 2.5 minus 5 is negative 2.5. Ooh, we should be really, really pro about this here. 
tangent is an odd function, and so the inverse of an odd function is also odd, so arctangent is odd. So we can actually be slick here and do the following. We can pull the negative out because it's odd. Negative and negative is positive. So we get arctan 2.5 plus arctan 2.5. Kind of cool. Uh, we have two of these. So this is 2 arctan 2.5. And if you put this in your calculator, you should get 2.381. So that is the relative max. And I hope this video made sense.